My goal was to find a way to change the audience's relationship to the movie by not cutting and have a shot that didn't feel like the movie before it and didn't feel like the movie after it, but still work in the context of the movie. And I did this and wrote this before I knew Rodrigo Tommaso and Marcelo Garcia. Six months later, I emailed Wonder VFX and I said, I have a shot and I think you can do it because I've seen your work before. Three months later, they came to Texas. We designed the shot, then we filmed the shot, and I gave them four pieces of footage, and they made it one. And there was no way to see it to the normal eye because the VFX were so good. It was so seamless. Anyone I meet in Hollywood wants to know how I did this from Steven Spielberg to Ryan Coogler to Roger Deakins. And I always first tell them it started with an incredible VFX house in Buenos Aires, run by my two friends, Rodrigo Tommaso and Marcelo Garcia. They worked many more hours than I could afford and put far more effort into the movie than I could have ever paid for. I felt like I had a pretty good movie, but after I saw their work, I thought I could have an extraordinary movie. They performed at a standard higher than I expected. I remember being so shocked and impressed by their work, by their passion, that I felt like I needed to go and re-edit the whole movie and improve it to live up to the main VFX sequences, which were the Warner and the, the finale, the docking sequence. That doesn't happen for me very often. Everything about the work, the aesthetics, the delivery, the partnership, and most importantly, the passion. You don't get to pay for people's passion. And it's been a blessing to our movie and has helped launch my career and absolutely changed my life.